Hey folks, well how cool's that? Hope that's coming through on the video, on the camera. We've got a full moon coming up tonight. <laughs> that's beautiful. Well, I've got it all running guys. I've tested it. I put a video up before and it was a fail. For some reason the uh, the picture every time it was playing it freeze and carry on so I pulled it down and I've decided to do another video that's as cool as a cucumber guys that's just as oh I don't know little bit of temp there but it's nothing compared to what the other one was oh I love it I love it I love it the timing guys has made an incredible difference I've had the car running now for probably nearly half an hour and wow oh, I can't believe it how much throttle response it has now guys it's so peppy it's incredible it's like there's no flywheel on it it just makes it really snappy that aggressive timing curve unbelievable all right let's have a look at the timing now it's set at 20 degrees Go. We've got a 20 degree uh, dial in there now, and then as I increase the revs, it ramps up. Let's do a 30 degree. It's a bit hard to show on the on the video, but I'll do my best just to give you a bit of an idea. give it a little rep guys this is this is the big winner here <laughs> I reckon it's going to bring that turbo on a lot earlier too one maybe even 200 reps just through that aggressiveness of it now it was never like that guys that's unbelievable. That blows me away. It was never that aggressive. It had always, it had actually, it would have backfired a couple, would have coughed and spluttered. It's basically got no hesitation in it at all. I'll see the camera there. Yeah. Oh, I the turbo's falling. <laughs> That's unbelievable folks, I'm just so thrilled with it. Well, goes to show you how much timing plays in, um, just goes to show you how much timing plays. I can't believe it guys, it's incredible. It really is. I'm just, oh, I'm just shocked. I really am. Anyway, here's my little laptop I bought today. He's just a little cheapy. I bought from Cash Converters, 150 bucks. So, unfortunately, it doesn't have the nine-pin serial port plug in it. None of them do. The ones I looked at. Uh, yeah, so I ended up getting onto a serial converter, USB to serial converter. Uh, a dude recommended it on my channel, and this is the exact same same one. So fingers crossed, this will uh, this will work with my um, MSD box. 
So I've just got to download the uh, program and work it all out and then hopefully Saturday week, next weekend, I'll have this all sorted out and I'll be able to go down to uh, Simmons and do a little bit of fine tuning. So it's all happening guys. I'm crossing over to the world of computers but you know, I think you really need it to take advantage of what I've been missing out on guys for years and that's that lugginess that I get off this engine because of the flat timing or the locked out timing that I've had uh, I, it's great when it's on boost I've no complaints there it's unbelievable power but it's that transition from idle uh, through to to when it comes on that's where I've been really missing out on well now uh, just proved it then it's made it so responsive one guy reckons I could even make it a little bit more of an aggressive uh, chart even before it, um, the boost comes in so I'll have to play with that one. <laughs> oh, it's unbelievable all right guys I'll put some videos up as soon as I get uh, come back from cloud nine and sort of settle down again but uh, to me this is one of the biggest satisfying jobs that I've done you know and I've done some some reasonable ones on this car but for some reason this really ticks all the boxes and it's just so satisfying. Alright guys, I'll pop one up soon. Catch you later.